Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle Boyle and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today's video is a meal prep. It's a quick meal prep using the meat markdowns that I got and actually the vegetable markdowns that I got in yesterday's grocery haul. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. So I just thought I'd make a quick video tonight. I'm doing a quick cook up on a Friday night so that I have on hand across the weekend for my family and for myself, healthy family meals. My kids are all older so they've got different schedules and we're all in and out at different times. So by doing this I always have healthy meals available to them whenever they're around. It helps me in the weekend too so I can dedicate my time to other things, especially relaxing which I've always found really hard to do but getting so much better at it. So if you want to see this video, a quick cook with me, a quick meal prep, then let's do this. Okay, so it's a bit dark down here, but let's get cooking. I've got some pumpkin that I've boiled up for Ellie. She's got bum problems again, a little bit constipated again. So I've just done some pumpkin on the stove for her. So I'll mash that up and just get that dealt with first. So first up, I'll be cooking this mince that needs to be cooked. I got that out yesterday and I should have cooked it yesterday, but I didn't. So this is mince from Costco. So I'm gonna cook this up with really quick and simple with the pasta sauce from Aldi. I'm gonna cook nachos and that can be for dinner tonight. So I'm just going to make this really quick and simple. Throw the spinach in, make some nachos for everybody tonight. I've got some grated cheese, it's pre-grated. I've got sour cream, corn chips, about half a bag of corn chips. Perfect. That's dinner done and uses up those things. While I'm doing that, I'm going to throw into the oven some sausages, the lamb sausages from yesterday. I've got the normal sausages from yesterday's whole rissoles. I'm going to throw those into the oven and I'm going to throw the marinated chicken into the oven too. Just let that cook itself and then I might do some roast potatoes. Roast potatoes and all those different meats on hand, it means options for the family as to what they want to eat. I don't know, you know me, I just make it up as I go along. But I will start with this, so let's get cooking. Okay, so I've put the mince on and I'll just deal with that in a moment. I just want to show you that I've been simplifying my life now for over a year. Actually, probably, probably my whole life, but I've been having success in just over a year. And so when I cook, I tend to look through things in the kitchen and find out and, and reassess all the time what's working and what's not working so I can fix things while I'm waiting for things to cook. So the mince is browning. So I'm just looking, this drawer's just not working for me. So I need to fix it because it's just too many things in there and I want everything to be really simple. So if I go down to this drawer, this, I'm pretty sure I can move things around and I've got two more big drawers. And and so I'm going to I'm going to get these out now to use for what I'm cooking in the oven. But I've also got this cupboard too in the corner. I've got this cupboard, and it's got like things that I don't use that often, but I do use them there. And then I've got my chopper chopper thing there, and I've got my what do you call it food processor at the back. This see this doesn't this should slot in better. So I need to fix that up. And this here has got vitamins and um, electrolytes and things like that and some Panadol and things. And it, but it's, we don't use that much stuff. So really that could just be reduced. It doesn't need a big container like that. So, oh, and this container doesn't need to be here. It could be under the stairs. And then we've got a toaster here that we don't use. We just don't use a toaster. We use a press, the sandwich press. So I might put that toaster out the back. Every time I go to get rid of it, my husband goes, where's the toaster? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so we, we might put that under the stairs and fix this up. There's just a lot of space that's not being used and I think I can make it better. So I'm gonna do that while I cook dinner. Cook dinner and while I meal prep. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about as far as simplifying my life goes is my, and my pantry's not very organized at the moment, so just no judging. Um, is that in my last house I had three pantries. I had two big pantries like this next to each other and then I also had a back pantry as well. So now I have this just one and I have under the stairs which there's nothing there. There's so few things there it's not even worth having that set up for that purpose. And the reason is, is since I simplified and worked out what works for me it is that I like to shop weekly and have not much stock on hand. I don't like to have prepper pantries and things like that. It just doesn't work for me, it overwhelms me. I much rather like shop each week and use everything up and then start fresh. Now of course there's things like these things that you need to have on hand, 
but I used to have jars of everything that you could possibly ever use and ended up throwing them away constantly because if I didn't bake for a period of time or whatever, I wasn't using it. So now what I have on hand is everything that I use, nothing that I don't, and it's just changed my world. So now that this pantry is very, very simple, and this is about all I want on hand. So these are the things that I use, so it's great. So my point is, is that I can go to tidy this pantry up so it's even more functioning, even better, but I don't need the under the stairs pantry anymore. So that's great. And then I've still got this down here, which I can tidy up this. It's a bit getting a bit messy. It needs a little bit of a... And then, of course, just my supplies down here. So that's just what works better for me. I talk about it a lot because I, I used to think that prepper pantries and that were the coolest thing. And I can see why, because you're buying foods when they're really cheap and you're stashing them away. But I also know from my family's experience that my mum and my sisters used to throw away so much food that they forgot that they had. Even my mother-in-law used to. Stuff in the freezer that they... Whereas I just, I just don't do that. I just want to keep limited stock because of my personality and because of... How I work best, I just like to have a limited inventory in every area of my life. It just helps me think better. And it's what's working better. So it's just my personal way. Okay, and because it's Friday night, we're giving this the Friday night treatment, which is as good as good enough. And I haven't got time to like cook gorgeous tonight, so I'm just going to... So that's just pretty much browned. Browned good enough. I'm just going to turn it down a bit so it's a bit smoky. Uh, in goes the sauce, the spinach, and we're sort of done. Okay, for those of you who don't know my favorite Aldi sauce, it's this one. Okay, and here it is, doing its thing. And I'm just gonna get everything into, or ready, or prepared to go into the oven. Okay, and this is about as simple as it is. Half of it's up the wall, as per normal. And, oh, I'm just gonna add a bit of um, Tabasco sauce to give it a bit more of a spicy flavor. Yes. And then that's it, so everyone can just help themselves and make their own nachos. And I'm going to continue cooking. Okay, so we're just cooking up these sausages. I'm going to put them there. These patties, I think I'm going to put these in the air fryer because the air fryer is out because I was cooking something in it last night. So the tray needed a bit of a wash, so I'll wash that up and cook these in the air fryer. Maybe most of them, they might um, not all fit because it's only a small one. And then the lamb sausages, I'll throw in with these sausages. I'd normally do them in the pan, but you know, I'm just all about ease at the moment. So we'll just get those thrown in here. And then I've got some chicken that I'll put in the other one. Actually, I just thought I'd point out that thinking of making mash to go with this, a nice cheesy mash potato, because this, I don't know, but this is not food that I'm going to be eating. This is food, or my husband, or my daughter. This is probably, this is food for my three. Actually, I've got two teenagers and one young adult. But anyway, they're older boys. So this is going to be food for them with mashed potatoes and salad, but this is not food that, um, I might have a lamb sausage maybe, but the rest of it's not food that I'll be eating at the moment. Why I say at the moment is because I, I can and I may sometimes, but generally no. Okay, so in this one I've just thrown the mango chicken in and at the end of the dish I'm just going to roast some pumpkin and yeah, just throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. Like the reason I share these videos is I'm a no thrills cook. It's just like, get the job done, let's eat healthy food, or let's eat real food as much as we can. I'm just totally a no frills cook. It's Friday night, so that's why we're having nachos, but this will all be on hand for during the weekend. Okay, so we're just inside my fridge, and this has been looking like, I was thinking, oh, it's a new fridge, but the seals, can you see? So the seals, like, all gone yucky. But now it's just occurred to me that this was supposed to come off. It was packing. So now it's all gorgeous again. I mean, it was a new fridge. It's only six months old, but it's taken me a while to figure out. But this was packaging. It's obviously supposed to come off. Well, anyway, even if it isn't, it's coming off. Okay, so I've got some organic beans that I need to use. So I'm going to get those cooked up as well. And things are looking good. Everything's going, the oven's going, the air fryer's going. This is just finished, and I'm just about to do the mashed potato. I just added Ellie's dog balls in with some pumpkin, and she's just had that for dinner. And I'll put this one away for tomorrow, and I'll use the pot for the beans. Oh no, for the potatoes. I'll put the beans in a different pot. Okay, potatoes are going on to boil. 
beans are already cooking. These are a bit dark, but I feel I'm just going to turn them over and cook them a little bit longer. Okay, so even though I said I was going to do the drawers, which I'm going to do now, I just thought I'd tidy up the fridge so I can see where I'm going. As you know, if you saw my haul last night, I just did a top-up haul to get me through the weekend until I can grocery shop next week. So it really helps to tidy up everything and see where you're at. So there's only a bit of, I think I've got another salsa. Still got plenty of eggs, not really because we're a big family, but we've been through 60 eggs since I went to Costco. Uh, plenty of yogurt, I've got the kimchi there. This I'm going to make into curry. I think I'm probably going to do it tonight. Some cheese, some bacon. This is some leftover crock pot from last night. Dog food and some salami. It's the vegetables. All I'll say about the vegetables is the mushrooms need to be put into an omelette tomorrow. Everything else is being used well. And that's everything. So... I'll keep creating. Let me show you what's just come out of the oven. So here's the meat out of the oven. I'll put it into something that looks a little bit more attractive. Okay, so as you guys know, I have decluttered like crazy. I've done the kitchen about three times over the last few years. So, and we've moved a couple of times, so that really helped as well. So it's just with decluttering and simplifying your life and your kitchen so that you can use it and you don't, you're not in cupboards trying to grab things that you can't get to and it drives you crazy. To make cooking real food at home more simple, easier to do, it's just to get your kitchen operating in the best way it can for you and it's different for everybody. So this, as I said to you, is not working for me perfectly. It's working so much better than it used to. So I'm about to tackle this. So I'm gonna put the toaster, I'm not gonna worry about the under the stairs cupboard. I'm just gonna do one thing at a time. So I'm just gonna put that back there for now and we'll sort that out in the future. And these things that I use, so I'm just going to, I'm trying to find a smaller container for this, or I might just put it upstairs or somewhere else. I just don't feel that it lives here, I'm sure. It's always lived somewhere in the pantry. So I'll just have a think about that. And then I think once this cupboards clear I'll be able to move stuff from the drawers and get those drawers functioning better for myself okay so here's the result so I've managed to clear this drawer completely which is perfect because I want to be able to spread the pots and pans from here across two drawers so that's going to work that will include that pot lid so we'll do that and then down here I've sort of got the things that I use the most all the mixing bowls and everything and then in the cupboard here now it makes a lot more sense because this I don't use as often this I use all the time these ones I use all the time thinking of putting the salad bowls down here as well just thinking about it because I it'd just be nice to grab them from there there's the other things and yeah so I'm excited I think this is going to work so much better okay beans are done and potatoes are ready for mashing yum look how good that mashed potato looks yum Okay, so I'm going to, the chicken's out of the oven, I'll show you. It's all just mushed together. The roast pumpkin's done. I'm going to use this in salads over the weekend. And what else? Uh, what else am I doing? I'm going to make the curry now, and then that's it. But I, I'm, everyone's hungry, so I'm going to make up different dinner requests, and I'll show you how, when, when I do meal prep like this, I let them make their own choices. So tonight... They can have nachos or they can have mash with sausages or whatever. And there's a few different requests, so I'll show you how that goes. Okay, so this is for my younger son. The noise in the background is my husband talking to my middle son about the footy. They're in the other room. And my younger son is here with me in the other lounge here watching TV. So it's nice because I can be cooking and he can be with me. But he's watching a movie on TV, so it's good. So this is um, my younger son's dinner, nachos. Okay, so this is for my middle son. So he's got two beef sausages and one of the rissoles and some salad and mash, a lot of mashed potato. It's his favorite. Okay, so this is my husband's. It's the mango chicken with some pumpkin, mashed potatoes, green beans, and tomato. Okay, so here's the final result of that. And this one, I just have to wipe it out, but this is how this is going to look. So of course I've got two more pots to go in here and I've got one of the big fry pan to go into here so this is going to make life so much easier I'm so excited and then of course underneath is these oh I've got to put the lid up actually there's two of these lids and I only need one so it's really time Michelle to get rid of one uh what was I saying okay so this is mixing bowls and baking things that's all I need that's all I use love it love decluttering love simplifying my life so much have no idea how peaceful it is. 
Okay, so this is a salad bowl, which I could, if I got something extra, I could put in the other cupboard because because there's room for them. And then these are my baking dishes, and this one looks a bit grotty. It needs a bit of a better clean than that, but that's how things are at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to, I have so thrown this together so quickly because it's late and I'm getting tired. So I'm just going to throw the lid on that, let it simmer and cook. And I'm going to cook some rice at the same time and then I'm going to start cleaning up this because if you know me, you know that I make a mess when I cook. Actually, it's not too bad today. I've pretty much rinsed a lot of the dishes under here. About to load the dishwasher. But let me just show you what I have cooked so far so I can put it away. Okay, so I added in some spinach, of course, because I had it on hand. So that's almost done now. I'm just cooking some rice to go with it. And so here's the result for the weekend. So we've still got some mashed potatoes. I've got some roasted pumpkin, green beans. Both of these, Jessica and I will put into salads with lettuce and tomatoes and olives and all sorts of things. Some rissoles, which would be great in sandwiches or buns or whatever, just on their own some fried eggs in the morning maybe. Same with the sausages, some more mints that can be used for some more nachos. I've still got corn chips left. And some mango chicken which can be put in sandwiches or it could be used in some pasta or what else, anything really. Salad. So lots of options there. I'll put this all in the fridge and just let people grab what they, grab what they want. And then of course I've got the big chicken curry. I'm gonna have rice. And that's everything. And that is how I cook up the meat markdowns for a busy weekend ahead. So just stacking up the dishwasher and could do some dishes, clear up a bit, and then that will be that. Yes, okay, so I've just finished the dishes and I thought I'd show you the drawers with everything back in them. And that is going to make life so much easier. So much easier. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and we are finished up. Everything's clean. I'm about to put the dishwasher on to run overnight. Program it to run at 5 a.m. And so it's already in the morning when I wake up. And you can hear my voice now. I'm getting really tired. So I'm gonna go and relax now. That's the curry and the rice just cooling down a bit. But in the fridge, we are now all loaded up for the weekend. So that's all the food. And the curry and the rice will go down here. And we're all loaded up. We've got plenty of fruit, plenty of veg. <laughs> We've got plenty of fruit, plenty of veg. <laughs> I cannot speak anymore. You get the gist. We've got plenty of fruit and vegetables and all this food made up. So we it's gonna be a big weekend. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may like this video too, another meal prep video. You may want to watch my grocery haul as well that I put up yesterday. It's here. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for being here. See ya. Bye.